All right, here we go, coming over the top, and boom goes the dynamite right inside of it. Can't get you out of my. What's going on everybody? Happy New Year and welcome back to some more of the best Besiege creations for this first episode of 2016. So to start off with, we got the Medieval Booster here. Now this is a craft that actually utilizes the cannons as propulsion. So you can see that it spins these cannons really quickly. Well, when you put a flame to these cannons, then you see how this thing seriously works. It is so freaking fast. Now the one problem with this source of propulsion is it quickly starts to lag the game because you slowly leave a trail- oh shit, okay, I'm hitting everything, I can't control it anymore. But yes, as I was saying, you leave a trail of cannonballs wherever you go. Oh god, this is not good, I seem to have flipped my craft, but it's still shooting balls everywhere, I'm just curious to see how many balls can my game take before it starts to seriously lag? We're at about 10 frames a second right now, which isn't too good, but you can see... I mean, look at the amount of freaking balls on the ground here, and they just keep rolling over. There's more and more. Yeah, we're down to 4 frames a second. I think it's time to uh, end this before I crash the damn game. So that's just batshit crazy to me, to utilize a weapon in this game as such a successful propulsion system is absolutely hilarious. Not only that, it's pretty damn chaotic. It's the only so source of propulsion. Did I just lose a freaking wheel? Yes, <laughs> I keep breaking the damn craft. Anyways, as I was saying, it's the only source of propulsion in this game that actually slowly kills the game as you use it. So it's kind of like a ticking time bomb, if you will for this game's uh, stability. Oh, there we go, now we're flying. You can also use it as a weapon, I'm assuming, if we uh, do set it up right here. Let's go to a different map and see if we can crash through a castle or something. Okay, we are on the edge of Duke's Plea here. I'm just curious to see if we can get fast enough to totally destroy our craft, I guess. No, but as I was saying, fast enough to actually break through. What the fuck, is there an invisible wall here now or something? Like, I'm hitting something, seriously. Okay, let's just move this up a little bit, I guess. Probably to about- oh shit, nope, that, that is clearly an invisible wall now. Are they adding invisible walls to this game, or was there always an invisible wall there? Well, that's no damn fun. Well, we just have to pass that, there we go. A little less speed, but we should be good here to demolish this thing, yes. It totally just annihilated that thing. Let's get that from a different view. Okay, this looks pretty good. Let's start those engines up here. <laughs> I wish I could slow it down, but I don't got enough hands. Oh my god. It took out the whole freaking castle. We got one little thing standing up, and that's it. I love the destruction. Okay, one more time, but we're going to do it in slow motion. Let's actually get kind of a front view here. Oh, this is going to be great. Everything is a little better in slow motion. That's what I always say. Here it comes, going probably extremely fast. We didn't hit exactly where I wanted to hit it, but we should still do a lot of damage here. Oh my god, that is just amazing. And let's speed it up just a little bit. We, do, we, we don't want to go too fast, but we do want to see all this destruction in its glory. We did miss part of the castle, but that was still a great slow motion experience. Oh, actually, speak of the devil, there it goes. The and it balls are still coming in, attacking the castle, and it took out most of it once again, except for this last remaining little pillar. So yeah, good start to this episode, I think. That was, again, the medieval booster. I'll put it in the description of this video if you do want to play it with for yourself. Speaking of destruction, we got another monster truck-like creation here. This is the Big Wheels Buggy. Now, this thing is seriously big. Uh, for whatever reason, the wheels like to vibrate, but aside from that, it does a lot of great wheelies and some seriously good destruction with whatever comes in its path. That just took out the whole castle. No problem at all. And, like, as you can see, like, I can just keep this wheelie going. It's, it's so easy to just keep it going. It's just got too much torque to uh, stop it. So yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can do a uh, stop endo. Yeah, there we go. Somersault, bitches. Okay, let's see how good this thing is at climbing. We're at uh, the little village here. I'm gonna see if I can... I probably can climb right up this. No problem at all. Very monster truck-like. It, it is absolutely bonkers. Uh, come on, keep it on its feet. I can hardly see it because these damn wheels 
like to vibrate for whatever and do a lot of damage. But I want to get all of these houses down. Destruction is always fun. Okay, coming in for a good run at it. <laughs> this thing just loves to do wheelies. I almost want more weight to this craft so it would stop doing wheelies so I can go full throttle. But you kind of got to feather the throttle because it likes to do so many wheelies. Can I get that? Please tell me I can get that. Uh, there we go. I got it. I got the balloon. <laughs> And we're doing a spin on the ground here. This thing is absolutely bonkers. Let's see if I can climb these, uh, I don't know if these are mountains or what these things are. Nope, that's not working. But we almost got all the things on this map. We just gotta get this last final one. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on, you're so close! We got it! And we did a backflip for the kill. That was absolutely awesome. Oh, I just noticed there's one more house. So we just gotta get that one just for completion's sake. Alright, come here little house. I'm coming for you. Watch out, seagulls. Watch out, Yak. I'm going to run you over. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. That was awful. So, yeah, that is the big wheels buggy, guys. i got to say, this is the best wheelie machine I've ever seen in this game. It just doesn't stop until you hit a wall, of course. And sticking with the land-based vehicles, we got a very beautiful-looking trophy truck here. Now, I decided to show this one simply because, well, the suspension system is so good, and it just looks so damn great. I mean, look at that suspension system. Watch this thing drop. It just looks like a real damn vehicle. Now, the unfortunate part is the turning system could be a little better. It's got the old-school turning system where you have to correct it for yourself. That's okay, though. Let's try and... Oh, see? There's the problem right there. Fucking wheels are falling off already. That was mostly my fault, though. I turned it a little too hard. As you can see, it's very easy to turn it hard. The wheels start going crazy. But if this thing had a better suspension system, it'd be one of the best vehicles that I've seen in a long time. Because this suspension system is absolutely fantastic. I just wish the wheels would be a little bit better. Okay, trophy trucks are known for their jumping skills, so let's see how accurate it is with this thing. Now, I want to make sure we get a good jump here. Not too bad. It doesn't get too much air simply because it's such a heavy craft, but I am impressed with uh, the suspension system in it. And next up, we have this mammoth of a beast. This is called the Archangel Mark II. This is a flying ship. Probably the biggest creation we've ever checked out on this Besiege series, and that is no easy feat. We have over, what, 70 episodes now, I think? So, uh, yeah, this is the biggest thing ever. Thankfully, with the new Unity engine, I can at least somewhat play it. Let's try and load it up a little bit here. I don't want to lag the game too much. We'll do 13%. That looks good. And, of course, it's going to lag the game regardless. But, as you can see, you can fly this. You can control it in the air if your computer can, of course, handle it. Mine, unfortunately, can't seem to do that too well. Uh, but as we are in the air, I will show you it does have some bombs as well, so you can drop each side of the bombs separately, so it is kind of like a bomber as well. Oh my god, this is just so laggy. Uh, this is why I don't usually showcase some of these huge creations, but this one was just too cool to not show. I mean, look at it. So yeah, the Archangel Mark II, possibly the biggest flying creation in this game, if not the biggest creation ever. Oh my god, is it ever beautiful though. Look at it. Oh god, we're gonna hit the ground here. It's falling apart. Oh, the humanity. Oh yeah, let's just see this thing crash. Now, now I'm just curious. I want to see it fall apart. Come on, baby. Fall apart in your 1 FPS goodness. <laughs> we're seriously at 5 FPS right now. But boy, is it beautiful. A moment of silence for the Archangel Mark II. This thing is just fucking huge. Okay, next up we got a pretty damn unique creation. This is called the Snow Bike. It is actually a tracked-based bike that has a very unique way of steering. Basically, you lean the creation, and it's got kind of these uh, training wheels here, if you will, uh, to make it not fall from leaning, and you can turn it that way. I just thought this was a really cool idea. Basically, it's a tank motorcycle. How cool is that? Now, I'm curious to see, because this is a tracked-based system, how good this thing is at climbing. I'm going to assume it's going to be very good. The only thing getting in its way is probably going to be those training wheel-like things. So let's try and get up here. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Excuse me, sheep. This thing is bigger than you expect as well. Holy shit, we did a flip. That was great. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's take out the tree. Can we take it out? No, but we'll bounce off it and ruin my damn training wheels. That was no fun. But yeah, this is one of the first successful bike-like creations that I've seen that actually uses weight displacement as a turning mechanism. So it's nice to see that this actually works. Mind you, it'd be nicer without the training wheels, but maybe we'll get there one day. Right now, we're not yet there. 
Okay, and sticking with the track designs, we got a Tiger 1 replica here. Now, I'm a pretty big tank enthusiast, so it's always nice to see when people try and replicate real-life tanks in the world of Besiege. Uh, this one, of course, has a turnable turret. You can uh, adjust the height of it as well. And, of course, shoot it and not hit anything, of course. Uh, anyways, let's tighten these tracks and see how good the actual tank mechanism is. So with the new update, a lot of the tank designs have been obsolete, that's why we haven't seen too many as of late, but this one, man, this is just working fantastically. It's not crazy fast like a lot of the core tanks out there, but it does seem extremely stable and it works just like a tank should. It gets over shit and gets it the job done. Okay, coming up sheep, if I can get up here, come on, get some grip, there we go, and killing some sheep, perfect. All right, now I just want to see it fall down, see if it can. Should have no problems at all. There we go. Look at how stable this thing is. This is beautiful. Everything a tank should be. Slow, but efficient. Oh, shit, never mind about the efficiency part. If you're going backwards, you're going to have problems. Okay, and next up, we have a very cool hot air balloon. But not only that... We got a guy with a mission. He's got a bunch of bombs in here that you can drop wherever you want. Now, these guys are supposed to cut me off, so thank you guys. And then we actually use heat to go up. That's that's what I love so much about this. You are actually using heat, so let's just tap it a little bit. We're going to head over to the castle over here and pay them a little visit. So you can actually rotate it uh, and push it forward and everything. Let's not do too much crazy movements here because we will be going quickly. But we do want to start grabbing a bomb, so let's... Grab one of these. Come on. You, you can get one. A a any one of them. Seriously. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, my God. That scared me. Okay. Maybe we'll leave the bomb grabbing to the safety of the ground. Why did he just break his cord? Uh, at least the other guy still has me held down. So let's grab one of these. Do I have one? No. Okay. So these are harder to grab than it seems. There we go. That is the bomb that we need. And we're going to put it over the edge so we are good to go. Now, let me out, out sir, so I can go up. Perfect. Okay, here we go. They're starting to run at me. Well, they're gonna get a nice little tasty treat when they're all over here. There you go, guys. Enjoy that. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. This is the best creation ever. Let's pick up another one here. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, look... oh, Jesus Christ, we did it again. Okay, let's try this again here without, you know, the exploding part. There we go. They're coming in again. This never gets old. I just love blowing up people. There you go. Enjoy the bomb, guys. All right. Now let's see if we can blow up their actual little castle here without blowing myself up. Be very careful. There we go. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Slow and steady. I didn't actually notice there's no roof on this thing. So let's see if we can slam dunk a bomb in there, if you will. Uh, this is the bomb equivalent of a slam dunk, I guess. All right, here we go. Coming over the top. And boom goes the dynamite right inside of it. Oh, my God, that was perfect. All right, we're going to go a little higher now and uh, go for this little statue over here. Okay, it's really hard to tell when you're exactly on top of it. I'm going to say I'm probably there right about now. Dropping it. Shit, that was way off. Okay, hold on. We, we have to turn around, try this again. We are going to get this statue, damn it. Okay, I have no idea if I'm over it or not. It's really hard to tell. There we go. Oh, my God. It doesn't even seem like I'm that far over. So let's uh, just boost it a little bit this way and try and pick up another one here. Okay, this one over here, you're going to be it, good sir. Come on. Get up there. Don't, don't, don't blow up. Don't you fucking blow up. Jesus Christ, I knew you would do that, you bastard. I keep hearing pops. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, there's so many things inside of that. I was hearing all the pops of... <laughs> it pulled the head off. I just realized what happened. This thing fell down, grabbed the head, and pulled the statue over. So I guess that's technically a success. I mean, we didn't bomb it, but our shrapnel killed the fucking statue. That was perfect. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of the best creations of Besiege. Once again, thanks so much for all your support, guys. And thanks for 500,000 subscribers in 2015. Oh, my God. What a year it has been. Thank you guys for all of your support. I hope I can continue to make you guys laugh, keep you happy out there, and have some fun with me. I'll see you in the next one.